Well, this morning we got three trucks to load. Um, Dad had loaded this trucker previously. I don't think he recorded. But we're headed to uh, Malta, Montana, basically. A little bit north of there, I believe. Um, 7 o'clock here, loading this truck. And uh, we got two more coming at 10 o'clock. So hopefully we'll be able to get this guy uh, up and out of here and start on those next two trucks. That's about it so far. Last time Dad had loaded this guy and another guy, and uh, he had uh, truck drives blow on him and do a lot of damage, so it's just this guy this time. $6,000 worth of damage. Bent his bumper, ripped a bunch of wires up off the trailer. It was, a, I guess it was a mess. And they only got as far as Towner. Oh, that's when that happened? Yeah. Oof, uh... So he said they didn't get to wherever they are going till eight o'clock. So I haven't been videoing much, but our second truck is here. Just trying to find the correct bales to put in the top row because on the ends of these halos you want to kind of find a bale that's not quite as square so that it will fit nice with the load and kind of hug the other bales. So all those front, uh, front bale and even on the bottom you kind of want them to, you know, the left side of the bale to be a little bit narrower so that it kind of hugs the load and then same thing with the rear but the opposite way so it kind of hugs it and uh, so that it can make it to the next destination safely as well. strap that's a much better idea a bit windy today it's uh 28 or 30 degrees but it ain't uh that wind makes it uh i bet you 15 20. today we still have to uh dad's gonna grind some hay on some hills in a bit that's while i bet the barn and uh, i'll show you our new camera system while i was uh gone for the week dad had gotten uh, a new camera system that was compatible with our old ones so instead of four cameras we now have eight yeah looks like everyone's still relaxing sometime today but we're not sure yet. Dad's gonna hook up to the processor. Like I said feed a couple uh, pens outside before we let the cows out. I'm gonna go change, get some boots on and uh, start on some barn chores. Someone's trying to enjoy the sun. Hi girl. So girls. So we're gonna let our heifers out and we gotta put them behind the old barn and I gotta finish putting up the doors here. I always like to let them out here. I think we're closed down there. Um, just outside of the barn. 
Then go back in, check if we got any calves. If we do, then we just have to double check the cows. 95% of the time, they uh, usually reveal themselves. What the heck? Woo! Nice and warm in here. Hey, girl. I'm not sure if I videoed, but last night I was home. Sunday of last week, I think. Uh, we were putting the heifers in, and she had calved out in the pen. And most of the time, heifers aren't really well with their calves right away, being a first calver. But uh, she had them all licked up. And that was the best thing that could have happened. So then, if it was cold out, the calf wouldn't be wet. He'd be all... Uh, cleaned up from his afterbirth and uh, better chance of surviving outside on his own. Oh, see we like spilling mineral. Hey girls. Got the third trucker on the road and I gotta go in and make some ear tags. We had a few calves last night. So what was it? This guy was born last night. Uh, we were working on the skid steer radiator. And then this guy, sometime this morning, he was all licked up by the time we got down to the barn. So we're gonna move these guys over and then let these cows out. Come on, babies! Yeah, that'd be crazy. Come on. Yep. I don't know why it's imperative to dump the mineral on the ground every time. But well, I'm gonna put these guys in. Um, I think we still have to feed our yearlings today with ground feed, but I'm not sure. Oh, Dad's filling the troughs with some ground corn. Um, all Dad does is back down the alleyway once he gets to the end here. Took the gate, put the calves in here. Um, I got a few rubber tires in there that I put ground feed. I forgot to video, but now they're back in here having some ground feed, and Dad was bringing in the north pen to bring in the barn, and I gotta go get the colors and the heifers, and then we're gonna call it a day. So I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.